Very little earnings by the country's labor force is feeding into the economy by way of dwindling purchasing power, according to some quarters. Because in a country where uh, social protection measures are limited, uh, vulnerable and marginalized workers are always exploited. And it's the role of the state to ensure there is protection for the workers from this exploitation. So a minimum wage is critical in creating at least equalities within the income gaps. The National Organization of Trade Unions, NOTU, insists that it will keep pace on ensuring the law is passed to enact a minimum wage for its members. The workforce is about 11 million. Now, out of 11 million, there are very few, not even 5%, who are getting what we call, who are earning good salary. Not even 5% of the, that population. So the majority of the workers are in the category of minimum wage. And you, you find that minimum wage... Workers' member of parliament, Arina Itoe Rakajara, argues that the delayed legislation on a minimum wage has barely created jobs, a just cause for the law going forward. So rather than Whether we have profit interest or not, but we can live in this country company when everybody is educated. These comments came up during a dialogue on the minimum wage that drew lawmakers, trade unions and civil society actors. And as you've had, so many changes have happened in the economy. There was a transition from the previous government to this government. We know about the slashing of the zeros. So essentially, the current minimum wage of 6,000 is not applicable, is not tenable, and cannot be implemented. So the essence is, if you're going to talk about a minimum wage, what is that wage? And that's the basis for this discussion. Here in Kampala, Reina Ojun, NTV business.